a French gazelle flying through the air. Is it possible? Oui? Hello and welcome dear skill modelers to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Toma and today we're going to be looking at a helicopter. So this is a gazelle, all right? Uh, this is a very unique model in many, many ways and I will tell you all about it. And it's a 150th scale of the helicopter. Um, it's made by Heller. Heller is a French company, uh, for those of you who do not know them. They have been established in 1957 and they have been making scale models ever since. They produce all sorts of scale models from tanks, planes, cars, trucks, helicopters, you name it. If you go to their site, you will find a very huge, well, a very large assortment of their products. And to be honest, their box art is pretty cool. You have to check them out. They have like this retro feel to them, um, like, you know, the, the old 60s, 70s, 80s. And this particular kid is from that era, because as far as I know, uh, Heller, Fujimi and Airfix used to make um, this scale model. But Heller is the only one currently that still has it in their stockpile and they still produce it. This is just a reboxing version again. Uh, and inside is basically a whole other decade, <laughs> to be honest. And you'll see. Heller also pr produces their own paints. I think they're acrylic. Uh, and if you go to their website, you can actually um, buy kit directly from them. The newer kits that they have released, I haven't seen those and so you know, I'm sorry, Heller, if I'm being very, very rude to you. But the ones that I do have, like uh, your Jaguar and your um, Renault 4 and this uh, Gazelle and the Mehari, I've looked inside and I'm honestly, I'm not that impressed. <laughs> I mean, these are very like old school kits, in my opinion. As far as detail goes, yeah, it's there, but you know, as far as fit goes, uh, well, you know, again, this one, I'll tell you all about it. And the Mahari behind me is also very on the edge. <laughs> it is the French way, I guess. The kit is in 150th scale, and that is the first unique thing about the kit. You don't really see a lot of 150th scale things. Um, the kit is around 236 millimeters long, so it, it has like a decent size, size length and I have it here because I've already made a mock copy of it so it's like, you know, pretty good. This is just a mock build. Um, it has 57 parts and it's really pff, a breeze to put together. There's, it took me basically, I don't know, an hour in total. It has two paint versions. Um, it's for like a Royal Navy and the French Army, so two paint schemes. And of course, Heller being Heller, they want to promote their paints. So all the paints that are in the manual are Heller-based paints. So you have to find the equivalent paints in your other arsenal if you're not using there. Let's just take a quick look inside the box and you'll see what I mean about a whole other decade. So this is the box. I've already opened this box because the boxes of Heller usually come in a plastic wrapping. Um, the box itself, and you can hear it rattle. See? Yeah, this is how it sounds. It's not healthy. The box itself, like I said, the box art of Heller kits, I really like them. Um, it's, 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 I like it. Okay, I like it. But the box itself is uh, very flimsy. It's very thin, thin cardboard, but it's printed on all sides, I can see. So let me open it like this. Immediately when you open up the kit, you are greeted, greeted with this. Voila! Yeah, it's a carnage. And as you can see, from all the shaking and transporting, some of the things have fallen off. And oh, by the way, just like all my videos, you'll see the one, the close-up shots in the um, screen below here in my left, on my left side, your right side you'll see it'll pop up so um yeah um these are the clear parts and the first major quarrel about this is that this is actually a cockpit assembly see um 
and it's, it's a nightmare for many reasons and I will go into the detail of it on my build but let's just say that um, this is not a very good approach to building a helicopter and um, so yeah that's the first big fail in my in my book but again it's a kit from the 70s um, yeah that's the clear parts then we have all the other sprues that are basically just thrown in just like the clear ones and they're made in this very um, soft feeling plastic mold um, the detail on this kit particular kit well it's not that amazing to be honest um, there are details here but I mean you can see like this um, mold lines or the stubs that came out and let me, I'm just talking here from experience this thing this is just a fail this doesn't go anywhere this is I don't know why they put this here but this is a fail also they have like this ejection pin molds here that are just annoying um, the seats don't really have any sort of detail on them whatsoever the cockpit in this is pretty boring to be honest um, there are like pedals here uh, really this kit is basically made for modification and that's why I really like it besides that's it's a gazelle I really like the helicopter itself so yeah so that's the one sprue then there are two identical sprues because this is like a tank buster unit you can make it like a reconnaissance or a tank buster unit so yeah these are the two sprues and you can see the one that uh, one bit has already fallen off I guess from the shaking of this little thing um, again soft plastic a lot of look at this overhang flashing Ugh. It's just a lot of stuff and you have to kind of, if you can see this one, look at this. You have to really scrape this stuff off, so yeah, it's a project. And this is of course the main business end of the body, two halves of the sprue, you can join them together. Again, the detail on it, on it is, it's there and you have some raised detail so you can like feel the rivets and panel lines. Um, but it's, well, in my opinion, it could be more exaggerated because this is, one, after all, 150th scale. But I guess, because I've seen the, the um, Gazelle in real life, I must say that uh, this is pretty good. Because <laughs> uh, the real Gazelle is really not that, you know, um, pronounced. You don't see a lot, you don't feel a lot of panel lines. You, you can feel the rivets, you can see them like in the model here as well. But I think this is pretty true to form. Um, as far as the outside but I think on a model such as this it would be nice to have a little bit more pronounced contour and this like this this is not exhaust this is like a, um, a mesh that covers an internal area this could be done like hollowed out and put a mesh behind it so it could re replicate like the real thing so if Heller is attempting to do this uh, again uh, I would really recommend that they do this and on one kit in particular they have messed up the kit in a way that this antenna was pretty much very different from this antenna so I had to order a new one and I'm waiting from Heller uh, on the replacement part so yeah that's okay uh, again there are some cockpit parts like here inside two halves go together Pff, really not a lot of detail cockpit really is very boring on this kit so Heller if you're listening uh, if you're gonna make this again please do I really I like the I like the helicopter and I think a lot of other people do like the helicopter but you really really need to do more research on the thing again to make it much better uh, inside on the bottom of course you get the very plain manual with some decals inside okay these are the decals uh, again the decals are this in this particular kit pretty good not great but pretty good um, there's basically cockpit here and then there's uh, various markings for two different types of uh, aircraft that you can make mm, a little sharky so the last man the thing is the manual and the manual is just basically just a4 paper pretty boring manual um, as you can see the cockpit is like one page <laughs> and the only difference between these two things are that this is darker and this is lighter so yeah not much uh, the rotors come together in one s giant swoop of a build 
So this is the whole assembly of the helicopter. So you, as you can see again, very simple design, put two halves together, glue them, you're done. And you have two types of exhausts. And then of course you can do this as a tank buster or as a reconnaissance thing. So, you know, um, either way. Then of course the two types of paint scheme, the uh, French army and then another French army and of course the Royal Navy. Oh, and another thing. So I guess there's more. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, Cypress, look at that. I didn't even, didn't even think about this. Anyway, that's basically it, the, the whole shebang. So that's it guys, that is the Gazelle. Um, I, let me just stress it, even though I criticized on this one a little bit, I do like the aircraft. I wish that other companies would make this too. Um, like I said, G Jimmy, Airfix and Heller all made this kit in the past, but somehow only Heller kept the, the model. I guess it's not that popular. I really find it interesting and um, like I said, it's a breeze to build, but there are certain things that are in the process of building are wrong with it. And one thing that I have to say is, if you're gonna buy this and build it, please, please make sure that you put a little weight in the front of the cockpit because this aircraft is tail heavy. Yeah. Heller Company uh, prides itself with the slogan uh, "Made in France," which, in this case, would be why. Like all the kits that I review, you can find this one in the, the link in the description below. If you're new to this channel, take a look around uh, some of my other videos. Um, maybe consider subscribing because, you know, if you do, your life will totally change for the better. Um, <laughs> but if you're already subscribed to me, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, share, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all those good things and life will be good again. Bye-bye. See you soon.